Welcome back to this playthrough of Dark Souls 2, Scholar. I've picked up both of the items around the side. This is an NG+. I mean, this doesn't actually do that much damage to these guys, but it's okay. Well, actually, that's not too bad. A thousand damage from a straight sword type weapon. I did not mean to lock onto that guy. What are we talking about? Hit him. Backstab him, ideally. If you would do that, that'd be raw. <laughs> Still took a hit. Stop, Jeffrey. Uh, I think that he messes you up here in the Undead Crypt. Hey, the Cyan Armor. I'm pretty sure I was missing that part of his uh, equipment. I changed up the rings a little bit. I put this one on and this one on. Here in the Undead Crypt, I like to use a lot of spells. Uh, things like Cast Light and stuff. So that's why I put on the Hexer Hood so that I got more spell uses. And then I'm just gonna like, instead of wear the crown, I'm gonna use... Oh, I thought maybe that stunned him. I don't know, it looked like it stunned him. I'm gonna use Amber Herbs. Hey, he also dropped something. Give him something good. Pretty sure I already have the helm. <clears throat> I'm not gonna cast Light again because... Soon enough here I'll be asked not to. I'll be like, human. Oh, really? You poisoned me? Are you kidding me? The urine is for the hollows, hopefully. Now let's just do this then. Yeah, it does work off. It does work for them. Can I please exit the menu? Thank you. These guys keep spamming with these women. Alright, do the pursuers again. Boom. Boom. Solar piece. Please kill them. There we go. These ones can do a lot of damage really quickly. And the their poison mist comes out stupid fast as well. And they're not very weak to magic whatsoever. That's poison mist or toxic. I mean, <clears throat> I'm just an idiot. It's dark fog, I think it's what it's called. Black witch is star skeptic. Oh yeah, you can farm skeptics from these ones. That's not too bad. Toxic mist again. Am I still toxic? No, that's fine. I'm good. Whoa. Don't do it again. Why? See how much damage that did? And she's doing it again. I'm stubborn. I should have switched weapons already, but whatever. A new game plus drops for you. The hood. Don't know if I have that. But it's alright. I will be coming up to another bonfire soon, which I should probably just rest as there's no point not to. So I didn't cast light again because uh, when you go through this corridor, I don't know of any way to like turn off your light, you know. Our characters does not know the spell Nox. And light and all those who wear it are unwelcome in this place. I need to go back to the drawing board. Sup? He's acting. Keeper of the crept. Just give me your thing. Um, let's see. 13 Elizabeth mushrooms. Those can be pretty nice. Not gonna lie. But I already have everything I can I can have from this guy. Let's see here. We so now I can cast light, no problem. I already have his kilt and all that stuff. Up this ladder, there's a little hollow that tries to mock your day up. Those guys in the wall, oh, I thought he didn't hit me, are pretty annoying. Here you get the crushed eye orb. I don't think I need that. I already killed Lysia of Lindelt. Crushed eye fire seed too, okay. This one I'm gonna light because it's just a single guy that spawns. And he's I. Do I have a shield? I absolutely do not. Oh, come on. Scraps of life. This is my first gaming session of the day. I'm super sloppy. 
Psh, it's nothing. Psh, it's nothing. This thing does a lot of... I actually want their stuff, so I'm not gonna knock them off. They didn't have that much health for NG+, what the hell? If I really want to make it difficult on myself, I could light the one below. And these guys would attack me as I make my way through the level. Ideally, I'd like to kill, you know, take out all the Lydia Pyromancers and stuff like that before doing all that. All the statues that produce the, the mages, damn it. This thing down here has soul vessels, I believe. Come on. I don't like fighting those guys. They spin with every hit, so they don't basically they, they don't give you their backs ever. They don't leave themselves expo exposed. They're kind of like the opposite of the Dragon Rider. They sort of uh, track you with every hit perfectly. And while they're hitting, you cannot hit, and you also don't stun them. All right, here starts the fun time. Uh, do I, I don't think I need anything other than that. Uh, not for now, at least. <clears throat> Let's start off by cast light. And then... Yeah, I, I just remembered, of course. I'm gonna have to put on... Um, the pyro flame in the right hand. Boom. These guys like to ring the bell. Ring the bell. Head over there, please. That'd be pretty ideal. There are, what, three statues in this room? It works on the skellies as well. Nice. I'm not sure how long urine lasts, though, but it's a while. And it managed to hit the bell. It's fine. Don't spawn. Good. You guys coming? Let's do this. Ah, uh, wow, that's not a one bomb. You can always also rest and the rocks don't come back. Neither do the statue after they're after you've destroyed them. Like ever, even if you fast travel. They kind of have like a unique thing to them, don't they? Because you know the pots in the um, shaded ruins or whatever? Those don't come back if you rest, but they will come back if you leave and come back, you know? To Bejula or something. But I guess, you know, those, those stones with the Lydia Pyromancers are just the most annoying thing in the world, so... I guess they reward you if you actually manage to... Destroy them all. Using halberds and uh, whips are also pretty good for doing that. Here there are two rocks, but I'm just gonna... Do no, I don't have any more force. Hurry, hurry. He likes to trap me in here. Hurry. Boom. And the Lydia pyromancers, they just walk through the thing without a problem. Hurry, boom. Go, don't trap me. These things do a ton of damage. Oh, they can like one combo you. Pretty much. Even in regular NG, they do so much damage. So yeah, those enemies are just made to be difficult because they're wearing robes, so they don't... The, they uh, shouldn't have a lot of defense, right? But they, But they do, which is shitty. And they also like stagger, heavily stagger backwards when you try to kill them. Don't hit the bell, don't hit the bell, wait. Da -da 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 -da. No, you dropped me, ya yeah, dumb. Dumb casters, man. Alright, there we go. Liz Lydia, whatever the hell her name is, should invade. <laughs> she came down. <laughs> that never happens. I guess maybe she did perform an, an action that knocked her off or whatever. Or like pushed her forward. In though in the those two rooms that I did, I think there's gonna be one guy that invades after I light up the 
the area. That's what Agden warns you about. Can I please? Why do you put an orange soapstone if I can can use the wall? Uh, I don't think dual avalanches is good anymore. I think it's been patched, but whatever. I guess I'll do it for the heavy bolts. Quit it. Cast light doesn't allow you to see these these guys as easily as like a torch would. Anyone else? Come on. I'm ready when you are. There you go. So yeah, you can see them way better when the light lights out, basically. That right. Oh. No one better be behind me. Open the door. Knock, knock. Who's there? Whoa, 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 no! Oh my god. Run. Ah, blocked. The way's blocked up, you see. Yeah, you see how annoying it is? <clears throat> can I just... Both of you hit in this direction here. Come on, no hit me. There you go. Instead of standing right next to each other. Pieces of absolute garbage. I absolutely hate those guys. Like, certain enemies... Uh, that I just run by and don't fight. Um, now, granted, they can drop their stuff, right? But it's they're not that difficult. And especially if I decide to use spells against them. Then they're the easiest enemies ever, ever, right? Because I, I don't think they can sprint. So, that's something. Alright, let's try to do this proper here. Where... Where are you going to spawn? Come on, guys. So an item back there. There's a guy spawning right there. Let's do this. Hopefully, because there's a guy in the back here somewhere. Do I have prism stones? Hurry. There's a guy in the back that, uh, yeah, rings the bell regardless. So I wanted the urine to work on him. I'm going to rest up and uh, see if I can find him, basically. The prism stone should stay. Does it stay? I guess we'll find out. It doesn't. It goes away if you die or fast travel, which is something that I think shouldn't be the case personally. But hey, uh, maybe maybe if you fast travel, but not if you rest, and possibly not even if you die. Honestly, like those things are very useless. Technically, like they're not a big like. I just do it for like shits and gigs, but they're not necessary, really. Um, you can be creative and stuff with them. Uh, some areas they're more useful than others, but usually they're not very useful at all. However, they could have made them a little bit more useful if they didn't disappear when you died. As like, you know, because the, it, isn't the description like you're supposed to be marking the way or whatever? Don't go for the bell. Don't go for the bell. The urn is up. That's not it. I need to put a thing where he's at. He's probably here. I have no idea where he's at. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's try this again. If it doesn't work this time, I'm not going to waste any more time. Because um, I remember saying that back when I played this on regular NG that I don't I don't think it's fair, man, that... um. Oh yeah, the rocks come back if you use the feather, of course. That's ridiculous. That uh, it's not fair. Like, traps are supposed... Or in Souls games... Traps are supposed to be uh, avoidable if you have the know-how. Or maybe not like, you know, maybe the trap has to be sprung if it's an if it's a, you know, a contraption or something. But at the very least, make it so that the player can do something about it, you know? Stop hitting, don't hit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Don't think this works on the Lydia Pyromancers, man. They yearn. I don't even know where the way out is. I think it's over here. Yeah, it's over here. Because I used to, I shouldn't have used the feather. I know there was a reason that I never used the feather, and that's because uh, it spawns everything except the statues. So I have to manually like rest at a bonfire every time. Fourth try. Uh, don't know if it doesn't... It did work on these guys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does work on these guys. So it should work in this room as well. Yearn, that is. Because these mother hobbits don't want to do anything about it. They're like, nah, nah, you're gonna yearn what? So let's cast it so that it stops before he like hits him. 
Hopefully that works. And he doesn't come off the ground and hits the bell. If he does, then... This game is treason. He does anyway. So he's programmed to only do that, pretty much. That's a little shitty, in my opinion. I never tried that before, so I kind of wanted to. That multi-hits like crazy, that uh, fire spell. It works on the guys on the outside, right? It does look like it works on these guys, but th the guy... Th see... <laughs> no matter what you do, at least I don't know of a way to avoid the bells being rung. What is wrong? Like, that is so bad. Hmm. He spawns right next to it. He spawns literally right next to the bell. So that's pretty... Pretty treasonous, I'm not gonna lie. Boom. Alright, I think I have two more statues. One or two more statues in there. Um, Solar piece can work to, like... Kill him before he hits the thing, but he's really quick, though. And there's also the guys outside to worry about. Alright, he focused on me there. Yarn, 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 yarn. Focus on that, guys. Come on. No. Who hit it? Who hit it? Hit this. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Does it work? Uh, maybe your doesn't work on these guys, and I'm just being drunk. Look at their defense, man. Yeah, maybe Yern doesn't work on them. Uh, there's a statue back here. Yeah, do that one. That's all right. Ah, I was expecting to, like... I think there's a guy behind me. Hopefully I can... This is the more dangerous thing. Nope, there's no one behind me. Perfect. Mission accomplished, so to speak. Let's use an easier weapon. Just a side-to-side -side swinging one. It's all right. Let me see, now that I don't have to worry about the bloody Lydia Pyromancers. So why doesn't it work before? Look, it's working on them. Or, no it's not. What? Yeah, no, it's not. Like it was, but it, it wasn't. Let's see, did they go for me or did they go for the urn? They are going for the urn, so... I'm assuming what's going on is that their their AIs basically have two inputs. Go for the player or go for the bell. Nothing else. The, these guys in particular, you know? Because uh, with the other guys, it didn't. It did work. But I guess I guess the, the 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 urge to go for the bell prioritizes the urge to go for the urn. Hmm. Uh, let's see, let's find the thing. Alright, it's that one right there. Tremble in fear before me. This absolutely nukes these guys really well, that's not bad. Solar piece. I also put another point into faith. I have 26 now, 25 and 26, but that's because of the hood. I technically have 24 and 25. This allows me to use Sacred Oath. Um, like, attune it, but it, it, it does cost 20... Uh, it costs 25 faith but it also costs like four slots which is a ridiculous amount the only thing that costs as much that much is climax and that's the hardest hitting spell in the game so sacred oath is great i mean i guess and also in combination with the crown it's even better right maybe i should uh, go ahead and attune it because i'm probably gonna light up the light up the place now that i don't have to now that all the lydia statues are destroyed Let's go and do that. Probably don't need as much force anymore. Uh, I should probably destroy these things here. Because there will be an invader here. Although he's not in this side though. But it matters not. Don't get in my way. Or like don't go too close so I can rest. Uh, Yearn can go. This, this, this. And let's... Ah, uh, actually I have to... Where are you? Oopsie. There we go, sacred, whoops, sacred oath. This can be a decent thing. Um, the only way that I would use miracles, personally, um, <clears throat> would be if, like, oh, yeah, I can do that, too. Would be if I could, like, 
uh, be a part of like a crew, I guess. Maybe there was two people, right? And I could be the supporting person with miracles. I could be the healer, the sacred author, because this works on on friends as well. I'm pretty sure. And uh, occasionally, you know, throw out some sunlight spears or something. But as like for your benefit, I think that sorcery, well, pretty much everything else is better. Yeah. Go ahead and spawn. I don't think I need to buff for these guys. Whoa, started off with a jumping attack, did you? Bro. <clears throat> oh, you can even block it, okay. I mean, I knew that. I tend to just move out of the way because uh, if you're just holding your shield up, some enemies have an attack animation where they just don't hit me. They try to guard break you, <laughs> as as is normal, of course. All right, probably don't need. Um, let's say good oath up. Put on this thing. <clears throat> and then rest because it keeps the um, it keeps the sacred oath going. But I get one use back. I actually have three uses. That's pretty neat. A guy rises below. That's not bad. Is there a guy above? Oh no no no. That's right. That's where he is, right there. Oh, I tried to. I was gonna parry this guy. <laughs> Come on, get up. Nice. Oh, the gloves activated on that hit. Really? That's not even a one bomb. I thought that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I know there's a guy coming. That's why I'm like stressing out about it. Die. Yeah, look at him. Look at him parkouring over here. You think that's gonna work, Perry? Monden. Yeah, piece of garbage. Do you have to guard break all of you? Whoa. Two. One more. Yeah, hit a spell. No, no, no. It's okay. I'm gonna use this thing as cover. Don't do backs. I mean, jumping attacks. One. Sklaka ping. Yeah, that does more damage than a uh, backstab or whatever you want to call that. Than a uh, guard break. When you sweep the ground. I'm going to say good oath it up again. The crown is probably going to activate soon. I don't, uh, I don't remember when it did last. Dude, I can do this all day. All day. Except in PvP because there's delay. Imagine doing that to somebody in PvP. Like, they'd be so furious. Does this work backwards? Let's see. Wait. Hit me. Because it creates, like, an aura around all of you. Fuck. No way. That's way too early. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Jumping attack. Dude, that was that is so cool. You don't even have to be facing the guy. Yeah, it creates, like, a shield around the... Hi, yeah, that's so wicked. Um, <clears throat> I don't actually anymore have. That's a term. Don't worry about it. I don't have um. Mm, solar piece, so I need to be careful attacking these guys so I don't hit the bell. Oh no, that was close. Should probably two-handed. It's a little bit easier. Maybe. Who knows? Perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> The second attack, when you one hand, it sweeps. So that's why that's why I didn't do it. But sacred oath lasts what two minutes? That's pretty much the same as the crown, dude. That is such a great combination then, because sacred oath is like a mini bright bug, you know. So if you just have four attunement slots, which means you can go to ten attunements, uh, where the southern ritual band plus two, right? And then every two minutes, pretty much, you just have a sacred oath. Oh my god, with this crown, of course. Um, the, I think there's a guy all the way at the end. It looks like the orange soapstones are showing me where this guy is. Nope, they did not. They betrayed me. Oh boy. Anyone here? Yeah, there we go. There's a guy right there. Uh, hopefully I didn't aggro the... No, I didn't. The big one. 1600. Yeah, do it again. There's a flutter by above me. I don't know if it's any point in, like, taking it out. I guess I'll try. Let's see. 
Nah, because I can't lock on. I will cast light first. Can I see better? No. Fine. Listen, this is not overkill whatsoever. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I might have been a little bit overkill. What did you have? Twilight herb. Not too bad. Don't think it's worth spending the time. <clears throat> hmm. Question is, I could poison him. Although I could do that to Velstad instead. That's probably, yeah, I could do that to Velstad. That thing can be buffed as well. I can like Sacred Oath it up. And then use uh, the Sanctum Mace. Um, for now, I I'm pretty sure the Craftsman's Hammer is just the best. Because this guy is an absolute stat bag. He takes so much damage, it's ridiculous. So I want to use the most effective weapon. And I think this will this one will be it. Whisper of Despair. Let's do this, Marines. Eighteen hundred damage from this. Three hits from this. But he's debuffed too. I I'm pretty sure it works. I don't know. I, I would assume that as long as the aura is in his stomach, it, it is working. Whoa. Alright, I see how it is. No, you do that. You do that, buddy. I love this animation right there. Like, I love backhands. <laughs> I don't know why. There's another animation. Um, uh, Soul Vortex. It also has a backhand like that. And it's such a cool animation. But it doesn't stagger this guy. And it's also very ca costly. Not sure why he staggered twice. And then doesn't stagger the rest of the fight. Like he staggered twice successively. He doesn't drop anything. I just did it for the lols. You can technically... Well no you can't because you have to open this chest. You would have to like kite him back and forward. <laughs> it's a little funny to do that though. You like open up a chest. And then because you have a little bit of inv invincibility frames. At the end of your opening animation. <clears throat> So you open up a chest and then you like run to the other side and then you open up another ch uh, and then you open up another chest here and then you run over to the other side and pick up the item you just <laughs> you just run make him run after you back and forth it's a little funny to do that uh velstad i said i was going to use this thing but i don't really have the attire do i let's put on some more health because that can always be a thing uh this ring which one's the best poison? The crown, actually. Holy smokes. 15. Yeah, everything that I'm wearing is technically the best best for poison. Uh, <clears throat> maybe I'll just save Sacred Oath for... I mean, not Sacred Oath. The thing. I can't speak. Don't worry about it. Just, just look at what I do. <laughs> Whisper of Despair. When he, when he buffs himself with Sacred Oath. The dark version of Z Sacred Oath. Yeah, do that one. I like that one. Running attack. Da, 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 da. Wow, one running attack does that much, huh? I This is one of my favorite weapons in the game, but mainly because of the running attack. I really don't like the uh, the initial stab attack. I have to let go of the stick because it's very easy to miss otherwise. <clears throat> He's gonna... Yeah. Let's say could off it up again. And let's do more damage. There's no point in poisoning him again. I mean, did it even did it even do anything here? Come on, buddy. Work with me here. I'm trying to kill you. King's guard. You need to go back to the drawing board on that one. <laughs> Look at him spinning. <laughs> He's on the teacups. Uh oh, lights out. That's a a metaphor for you, Velstad, the royal pain in the ass. Ra. No, let me cast light. Damn it, Craig. I didn't want to spend. Oh no, he's next to the wall. Are you titting me? Are we parrying this? No, <laughs> I couldn't do it. That fe uh, that felt like it hit me before. Like, what is this? Fucking PVP. <clears throat> I wasn't ready. Listen. He caught me off guard. He's the king's guard. 
let's probably see him both for you for your sake and YouTube's sake I mean for and my sake I'm I'm crazy don't worry about what I say don't hit me with a backhand I'm constantly out of stamina bro come on it, do, it does consume quite a bit doesn't it one hit yeah look at that that's absurd it's why are you trying to prove huh what are you trying to prove Ow. I don't have iframe seriously I have like 105 agility my entire role should be iframed no do that Shh, da, 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 da. yeah boom boom mother hubbard all right I'm gonna go through the oh, royal soldiering perfect I'm gonna go through the entire thing again and try to kill the guys that spawn should I I mean I can I can skip out on a few I won't kill literally every single one I'm not too worried about the stuff that they give you but I can go to the beginning bonfire and kill the two or three that are there that are close to there oh well there's actually a guy up here yeah that those things uh, return let's see mm, I can use sacred health but I can take that off Um, what shall be used against them then? This thing buffed with this thing. Ring the bells if you wish. I don't care. I need space to fight. That's what I need. Up here, there's one. Did I pick that chest? No, I didn't. I actually should do that. Whoa. Boom, boom. That always hits me, but it's all right. I've suffered worse doing training. Oh my god, I was about to parry the life out of you. Let's kill the skeleton. I love the lock-on system. Love it. Look. Oh. <clears throat> I, pe I pressed the wrong button. I blocked instead of parry on the first hit. I'm impatient. I should have totally killed the skeletons and all that prior to starting fighting these guys. But listen. Do not worry about that. Oh, the chest. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Let's go. <clears throat> Sup, Lydia. Not to be confused with Lydia. I don't know, I think one of these guys, I got their hood, right? Lydia Black Hood. What are the other guys called? Aren't they also called Lydia Pyromancers? Lydia Pyromancer and Lydia Sorceresses, perhaps? I can never remember the damn name. Again? The hood again? Give me their clothes. I don't think I, I don't know if I have their clothes. Do they wear pants? I don't think they wear pants either. Let's go back this way. Can't produce light because Agden will be get all pissy. You yeah, man. You not produce light. Wait, dude, I have the giant souls. I can totally kill Vendrick as well. Maybe I can do the, everything I need to do in the Yeah, because I hate backtracking. I don't like it. Uh, I think we can fight this guy on our own here. <clears throat> dude, that's not gonna work. I could do this all day. All bloody day. Captain America over here. Let's go. Come over here. What? It was a joke. You're not gonna last very long, are you? Skadoosh. Yeah, I won't, I won't continue to kill these guys. Maybe I'll do the rest of them off camera. For now, I can instead try to fight Vendrick. Um, because when I do that, I can also go back to Agdane. Well, no, he, he doesn't give me anything he hasn't given me already. He just gives me his kilt. <laughs> I'm kidding. He gives me his clothes and his dark drift. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's all he gives me. So let's go kick Vendrick's buttocks. What will be good against him? Maybe the ice rapiers because he, I mean, I like to try hard against him just because he takes so damn long. Uh, I have the poison ring. Well, what is my problem? Right, right. That's going to happen. It's okay. Run. Yeah, the dragon rider doesn't respawn. Whoa, what? Did you see me stun? What did I stun? You never stun. Maybe it's because they, they blocked. Usually you can just run into enemies and either they stun 
or like jump into enemies or and either they stun or nothing happens i'm pretty maybe it's because they were blocking so that is like unique to those guys i don't know the heck the heck did i stun for i don't like it whoops all right say good oath cast light buff weapon <laughs> we're buffing here all right vendrick Let's just make sure. I'm pretty sure I have all the giant souls. Six. Yep. Hit me. Wow, look at the damage. This is NG+, plus, remember? Okay, it's not that much. No, I mean, no, it is. Because this th these things hit so frequently. Or so, yeah, they don't consume a lot of stamina and they hit it quickly. Yeah, a third of his health already. That's absurd. This is the king. Am I not the king? Maybe I should actually use the claw anti. That would be really useful in this fight. I'm tryharding a little bit, but it's okay. I don't, I don't think it's very fun. And also, like, he can end the fight really, really quickly. He hits you with two hits and, he's, and it's over. Or maybe he's jumping attack and then it's just one hit. So it's like, it's no fun to fight fights like that. The Ancient Dragon as well. Even though he looks really cool. Meh. All right, so there we go. Uh, because see, now I can I could have returned to Agdane, and I can also go to the Shrine of Amana and get Vendrick's armor, I suppose, back. So I might as well do that. But I, I'm gonna have to fight. Is that all I need? Hopefully, that's all I need. Uh, whoops, that's the wrong bonfire. I just don't like to make this too long, you know. Uh, <laughs> and I keep flipping. Messing up with the bonfires that I'm fast traveling to. But yeah, after I get the king's armor or the soul of the king. Because I don't I don't need the armor. The armor can stay. I think I just need the soul. You don't actually get a soul when you fight Vendrick. Ra miss. Yeah. That's not enough to kill her. Could do some twinkling, but that would be pretty neat if you guys would uh, hook me up in that regard. Oh, it activated on the single hit. This guy does not like... <clears throat> you know what? Let's just do, have some fun. Let's use the giant warrior club. Bro. Bro. I'm over here. Rah. Oh my god. 1,000. Now these guys are absurdly weak to strike. But jeez Louise. One more. This does not have a downwards hitting attack. Hopefully this hits this guy. Mm, nice. I need to kill three of these sorceresses before going over there. It doesn't look like the dragon rider is over there. Which means that I most likely will get their armor. Don't aggro please. Thank you. I always do it this way. Let's see what happens if I do it this way. That's what happens. They have counter damage I'm pretty sure to their spells. Or maybe it's because they hit your head. I have no idea. But they do do more damage sometimes than others. Twinkling? Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> Giant Warrior Club is nice. Hey, you can see the soul through. Look, clipping through. Oh my god. That's when people would blame B-Team, right? <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, the king's armor I, I don't need a duplicate of, but I can totally get the king's soul because this will allow me to get something from Ornifex. Uh, the second weapon orc. The king has three things. The shield, the great sword, which is technically an axe, and no, the ultra great sword, which is technically an axe, and then the great sword, which is the one I already have. Either way, dude, 413,000 souls. Well, I did kill Vendrick and the... Uh, yeah, if you stuck around this long, you can get, you can watch me level up. You can get the excitement of that. Although I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be at the three or four levels. It's nothing. It's it's costing me 100k to level up right now. 95, one, two, four levels. Let's go with Vit because I feel like well, I just want to make those even. Uh, whenever I use something like the Giant Warrior Club, it takes way too much. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Next next up is Aldius Keep. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you then. Hasta.